Oh, oh. oh god. Bye! Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. It is currently, well actually it is the time, I think it's like, it's 56 past midnight and I'm on my way to London Luton Airport because guess where your bitch is going? Um, let me even check where... 1.15, okay, I'm quite early for once. I'm actually quite early. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. I'm currently at King's Cross St. Pancras. Guys, I've made it, I've made it, I've made it. I feel like I haven't properly introduced the vlog, but guys, I've made it to Amsterdam. I'm home, guys. I'm back in my my place of birth if you haven't have gathered from the clips before i'm going to collect my hand luggage and then go through all of that like passport control and stuff yay <laughs> the sky though looks pretty good let's go so i'm currently sat in this pod thing waiting for my cousin to come and get me um he's in the de departures five and i'm in arrivals four so yeah oh my gosh my hoodie's looking a bit of a mess and i'm looking a bit of a mess but we're gonna go home freshen up eat um well we thank god i arrived here safely and i'm so excited for the days ahead i'm so excited for the vlogs ahead i think i'm just gonna make it into one big vlog because i can't be asked to actually like film separate vlogs um and edit them but yeah where i'm sat is actually really shit for my cousin to notice i'm here but you know, <laughs> Instagram's about to be popping. Oh, some Chinese kid was just watching me. Uh, my Instagram about to be popping. You know, the outfit's about to be popping. Um, and I feel like this vlog has no structure. Basically, I came from where I live to Luton Airport. Biggest mistake of my life, like literally. And I keep on getting crap, like really bad, like pains in my stomach. I searched it up and I got things like angina and yeah don't search the internet for stuff like that because it actually started to scare me and then it went down I slept the whole flight and now I'm here and I feel fine <laughs> so let's just pray that this carries on and yeah I'm just hungry 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 at the moment Exploring the streets of Amsterdam. Say hey. Um, and um, I've got my lip to nice tea. I need to wee now, but we're on the way to a scooter place and then we're gonna um, ride around. <laughs> oh, my skin just looks amazing. Like, I'm so happy I'm black. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be home, man. Honestly, I take the pictures. Guys, just look at this. Oh, I've missed this so much. So if you haven't evidently gathered, I'm now in Holland. It's the same day that I traveled here. Um, I came to my um, auntie's. Oh, camera's a bit blurry. I feel like I've just made that even worse. Vlog of the year goes to me. Um, yeah, it's really dark. Um, but yeah, I came to my auntie's house and I had a nap and now I'm just out with my cousin and we're gonna go to Central, we're gonna go to like this really cute pancake place that I saw in Zoe's vlog when she came here with Alfie earlier on this year. And we're just gonna have a good day. Like I've got my camera, I'm gonna be doing um, some coursework for my photography anyways. So my teacher better appreciate me. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I can't, like I am excited to bring you guys along with me. So we've got my pancakes, which are very plain and boring, but I got some chocolate sauce, some maple syrup. Um, my cousin ordered some weird shampoos. <laughs> I don't even know what it was supposed to be, and then he's gone plain as well. And I've got my little apple juice. I'm very happy. Very happy. God, I need to remember that. <laughs> I, 
I always forget about the flipping cyclists. Uh, um, but we just finished eating at Muk. <coughs> really good. <coughs> and we're jumping on back onto this thing. Keeping this back in your thingamajig. Thanks. Your what? Museum plane. Museum plane. That's what we're off to now. Great. So, for the first time in my 60 years of living, knowing that I'm actually born in Amsterdam, this is my first time actually coming to this um, little sign here. And as you can tell, I'm very packed. But um, at least I've uh, at least I've been here. Fun, fun. Look at this. Uh, we're in a museum now, by the way, and I'm literally clashing colours. Great. Just made it to the central and apparently they have a hard rock cafe here the line's already looking like disgustingly long but i never knew this uh, like amsterdam you're upgrading killing and they got more work so you just made it to central as you can evidently tell and like i'm stood by a typical canal you know getting the tourist pictures you know um and yeah i'm super cold so basically we just got like I say we, I fell for this little like free thing saying, yeah, come get us a free gift. And then this guy lectured us for like about two minutes. Yeah. Let with his mouth eat. open, his breath stink. With his mouth thinking. But guys, oh look at my, my nail. God. He did something to my nail and it looks like really shiny. I mean, that skin thing, I don't like people touching my skin because what if I actually react to it, but. We're going to oh, I just love her. Oh my gosh. I just got a hot chocolate from, um, my cousin's workplace's friends. I just got introduced to them. Um, so, it's actually quite nice. I mean, oh, this is actually nicer than I thought. But I know I needed this for our chocolate because I am cold. So, so cold. Guys, look at this Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't get me excited. But I'm going to buy some keychains for my friends. Three for four. That is, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna look into. Oh my gosh, I love that one. <gasps> Three for ten. Okay, guys, I've landed in Christmas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I have landed in Christmas. Yep, yep, yep. I'm bringing shit back with me. Are you dumb? Look at all of this. I'm so tempted to buy that tree and just bring it back. Made it to Dam Square. This is if you can even hear me. And yeah. Oh my gosh, man, the two swords. I did not even see that before. I just said it. <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> I've got a shop, I never told you, but you know. Go hit it up, Nam Accessories. And they've got the Christmas decorations up. <laughs> the choice of dinner, I've gone for a, it's a Surinamese. Um, Indonesian restaurant. Suriname. Suriname. Indonesian. Indonesian <laughs> food and um, I cannot wait to eat this. I got a... What's this called again? What's this called again? Uh, yep. Nasi. Nasi. It's and then he got baum. Um, with pork and then with chicken. Very exciting. Okay guys, a bit of an update time. I'm now back at my auntie's house and basically just wanted to show you guys briefly what I did get from the shops today. Um, don't know really where to put you because... Shit. Okay. Oh, it's not the brightest. Oh, God. Okay, so, so... Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with this because you know I'm in some jogging bottoms. Oh, oh. That was the worst representation. But yeah, I'm in some jogging bottoms in my hoodie. We're about to watch Paid in Full. And just gonna show you guys what I got. Popped into Primark. Also, the food that you just saw, fucking like it is called it's called Baomi is the spaghetti one, and then South got the rice. The rice one's called something as well, and it is so good i had a takeaway so i ordered a takeaway i'm gonna have that warm that up and watch pain and fall all of us all me and my cousins and stuff are all upstairs about to go watch pain and fall on netflix but from hema i did actually pick up first of all i did actually pick up a few keychains for my friends um and they basically they look like this they're like a little clog which is obviously classic to the dutch 
tradition and they have like little symbolisms symbolism symbolisms on them so this one has m for martha and then like a for abigail t for tracy i even got one for myself got one for my mom for my sisters just thought you know why not be a little bit cute you know um and then from Haymar, i picked up four face mask which i'm like super excited to try um so i picked up an argano mud face mask and this is supposed to be for cleansing and purifying combination and oily skin i picked up a cucumber one this is a peel off face mask and it vitalizing it is vitalizing and purifying for all skin types and then i also picked up a um, avocado mud face mask and this is for cleansing and purifying and then lastly i picked up a charcoal one, which i've never actually used before so i'm excited to do that and this is a peel off face mask which is softening and smoothing so i picked up four face masks that look like so and these are kind of like a beta version of the sephora ones like they're really good but you can only get them in the store um my hair doesn't look a mess don't watch the space like it's been a long day okay um and then also from hema i picked up this little headband if i can actually find it oh here you go I have been looking for something like this for the longest time and Primark do do them but they're not as nice like these are just so cute they're going ahead like that and I was gonna get a grey one but they were all out, like out of stock with the grey ones but I got a black one and this was only like six euros it would look but, like the vision I have in mind you'll see <laughs> um but yes and then I don't want to keep this a bit like I don't want to keep this like really long winded because I want to eat my food you know um I do believe this is very dark. I, I'm serious. Like, I do apologise. I've got two things from Primark. The first thing was actually on sale. Okay, there's a lot of movement going on. Uh, and this is not my area, so I wouldn't know, you know. Um, so, yeah, the first thing was actually on sale. I feel like you really can't see this. Basically, it's like, it looks like this. It's like a jumper. Um, I don't know why I just ended it there. So, yeah, it's just basically this like roll neck comes up to here and it was only three euros down from six euros and it's just i feel like it would be like all nice for six form to be honest with you then i got myself finally got myself a leather jacket which is not going to be like my leather leather jacket but it's going to be like the start to my leather jackets do you know what i mean um and i'm just getting into jackets recently ever since i bought the black one from primark so i got this looks like that can you see i don't know if you can see i probably can't see the shit quality um and this is only 14 euros and it's not the, the thickest of jackets but it's something and I, I like i wore it over like a hoodie that i was wearing today for instance um and it's just it's just for layering it's one of those things that are just going to be good for layering so yeah that is what i those are my purchases today guys um i didn't intend to spend a lot of money because you know and literally I, i'm just carrying that little um hand luggage back to england <laughs> If you lot actually thought I was joking, yeah, safe. Ordered another batch of it. Mm. I'm excited to eat this whilst watching Get Rich or Die Trying. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm shit at time management, but this, this.
today, as another reminder, the forward toilet is out of order, so there are two toilets at the rear of the cabin. Remember that smoking is not... So I have just like landed in the UK as you can tell I'm back in England um, I didn't end up missing my flight. I was this close to missing it, but I'm here. We made it. Hello um, And now I've got one heck of a journey ahead of me um, But I think I might stop off in London and meet my sister and go out for lunch because I've got a lot of time until I've got work later on this day um, Like around, I start at like five so I'm gonna go get my bags and stuff It's gone really dark. I'm gonna get my bag and stuff and then head to london because Luton is very far i don't know why i picked this airport but you know um you know this is my current status i just need to go and go get my bags and go through security i think or something like that and then we'll be on our merry way i'm i'm not really like tired tired but like i can feel myself being tired um the flight was really quick 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 i slept through it um it's not like eight something in the morning um, so yeah, see, until next time, I don't know when the next time I'll catch a flight, but Amsterdam's been great, like, I mean, this vlog has been a bit of a mishmash, I'm saying this as if I'm ending it now, which I'm not, but you know, um, yeah, it's been good, like, I really needed just, like, a little bit of a detox and a getaway, because, like, A-levels will not actually come and kill me, A-levels will not come and kill me, okay, okay, <laughs> um, but let me just put you guys here anyways. Oh God, whilst I'm here, I need to take some pictures of this scenery. It's for coursework. I've literally been stopping and starting just to take pictures. There we go. There we go, got him. I got him. But yeah, I thought I was like super, 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 super late. Um, but when, because it literally, I have the app for the EasyJet app, and it said that the flight was boarding and I was going through security and it was nine. So yeah, I was a bit scared. Um, but when I got to the gate, it was like everyone was just lining up and stuff. So that's good. And this airport was very empty, as you can tell. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm like confidently vlogging because nobody's here. But I'm going to get my bag. I did only have hand luggage, but because the airport was too airport because the plane was too full, I had to put it in like the down space bit. Do you get do you get what I mean? Oh, my arm is killing me. But I'm back. Um, I've got school tomorrow. Uh, I've got coursework to do. I've got deadlines. Back to reality. There's my bag. Oh yeah, great stuff, great stuff, my phone's about to die.